Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Do you feel better? Right? Yeah. This feels strange. <laughs> so neither of us have sat down and filmed a video like this in a really, really I feel long like time. That's okay. Does Do it you feel actually? Okay? I don't know. I haven't seen the picture. Should I have a look at the picture? You have a look. I didn't take a picture. <laughs> no, I know, but I didn't like. No, I don't think it's wonky. Maybe it's my eyes. I think it's your eyes. It says it's not. Yeah, that's what I mean, but it... Okay. I think we're straight. Okay. We'll go again. <laughs> we'll go again. Okay. If it is wonky. Sorry. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I've sat like this and filmed a video, so I feel kind of strange right now, as I'm sure you do too. Yep. Um, this is my housemate. Hi. This is Laurel. She also has a YouTube channel, which you're going to try and get back into yep. probably, aren't you? And you've just rebranded your blog, which I'll link everything down below so you can go and follow this beauty as well. But we thought it would be good for us both to get back into filming together, because it's been so long, and just because it's fun to film with someone else. So. Here we are, and we thought we would do like a roundup of 2017 for us, and um, we're going to do like live things on my channel, and then after this video you can pop over to Laurel's channel, and we're going to do like our favourite beauty products. So make sure you pop over to her channel after watching this video, and um, leave her lots of love on her video as well. But we'll just get straight into it, because no one likes a rambler when I am. You like, you like a ramble. ramble. <laughs> you like a ramble. I do like a ramble. Right, so we've listed five things. Can I count? Yeah, yeah five, five things um, that we've really liked. We've been really organised and we've written them down so that we know what we're saying. And yeah, we're just going to let you know what they are. So, do you want to go first? Okay. My album of the year, if you follow me on Instagram, it will be no surprise. <laughs> My album of the year was Harry Styles' self-titled album, Harry Styles. 100%. <laughs> um, I listen to it on repeat. It's the only CD that I actually physically own now. Because CDs Did you actually buy your CD? I bought a CD. It's in my car. So if my phone ever gets no signal and I can't listen to music, I've still got a CD to listen that's to. Love. So that's that sense, love. Um, I I think my favourite song on it is Sweet Creature, mm -hmm. but it's just because like I've seen him do some of it live and I get to go see him this year do it oh, all live. Right. Yeah, that was my favourite. Do you know what I'm really looking forward to about him being live though? I want to see what he's going to wear because he's been wearing really weird things. He recently. does wear like the only thing that put me off when I went to see him at James Corden is he had a velvet suit on. Ooh. I don't like. Don't like the touch of no, velvet, and I was like, like if I ended up meeting him and then wearing that, I'd be like, I can't even hug <laughs> you. Would like, no, I'd be like, I'd probably torture. would, I probably would have, but I'd have been like, you would walk away and be like, like oh. feeling like I'm gonna throw up on him. My favorite album this year has been Sam Smith's Thrill of It All. I've only, I never really used to listen to music a lot. That sounds really weird and probably yeah. shocks people, but I was more of like a film person, and if I, because I drove to work and stuff, I just listened to the radio, so I'd never download albums, but because of the tune now I'm in London, it's, you just have to have something to do, so I started downloading albums and Sam Smith's is the one that I've overplayed so badly. It's a good one. Isn't it? I can't remember the name of my favourite song. No Peace. No Peace. That's okay. my fave. Um, one Last Song yes. is my fave. I like They're all so like good, good like, like break up, yeah. like I'm over you anthem. Oh, I've changed my TV show. Have you? Now that I've just said Ooh. that. <laughs> Last minute decision. Okay, that's fine. You're allowed to change yeah. your mind. <laughs> I just thought of it and I was like, why am I um, not saying that? <laughs> it's going to be no surprise to anyone, but Stranger Things is 100% at the top of my list for TV shows. We were obsessed. Yeah. We watched, how quickly did we watch the second season? In like season? a weekend. Yeah, Literally so quickly. We were like, we'll just watch one or two episodes and then we'll finish it like we another to, time. We wanted to yeah. spread it out to make it last yeah. longer, but... You just couldn't. There was too much, like, Bob. Ugh. Like, that. I think that was the episode when we were like, we need to watch the next episode. Yeah. And then it was that, as they so I think it was episode eight that everyone's like, don't bother watching it because it's like a filler episode. Yeah, it was really weird. I didn't like that. Episode. No, but that was like a oh, good, strong binge watching it weekend. Was. <laughs> it was actually was. Oh, oh, right. yeah, should we just watch the next one? Yeah. Should we it, watch the next one? It got to a point yeah. where you were like, I need to go to bed because. You had work yeah, on right, Sunday, like. <laughs> and I was like, no, just one more. <laughs> it was when the clocks went back yeah. as well. <laughs> That's so like, we got yeah. an extra episode. My favourite TV show... Which had just changed. Yep. Yeah, ...was 
13 Reasons Why. Oh my god, yes! That's what just reminded me of I talking about Sam Smith. I completely forgot about that, that's so um, good. I read the book when it came out years it ago. Book? Yeah, it's originally oh, a book. I think I've got it somewhere, if you can borrow it. Thanks. Because um, the book is actually quite a lot different from the TV show, because obviously they've dramatised the, yeah. the TV show. I yeah. know oh, it was quite controversial to actually show a suicide yeah. on a TV show because they never show it that graphic but I liked the way that you got to know a bit more of the, each of the characters than from the book Yeah. because in the book you just read it from Clay's point of view oh, really? so you don't know and you don't know any of the other characters backgrounds I think like that and I'm excited to see where it's going to go like yeah. season 2 because they're filming that they're the filming moment. it now aren't yeah. they yeah. that's another one that I watched really yeah. quickly it was really good yeah though. Netflix is just the place to be isn't it for TV they shows do good like originals. That. yeah and I've had to pick this one because, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the film, but it's also the only film that I went to see in the cinema last year. Yeah, I can't think of many films no. that I went to see. But yeah, my film is Dunkirk, <laughs> which is a really good film, yeah. really, really good film. And I was really surprised. It's such a good cast, but everyone knows that Harry Styles is in it. And I was a bit apprehensive about it, and I was like, am I just going to sit there and see Harry Styles? I thought he was only going to be in it for like a really short, a short amount, amount, but he was actually like quite a big character yeah, yeah. in the whole thing. And he was so good. Like, the whole cast is incredible in that film. It is such a good film. It's not the happiest of films. But if you need a good cry, you really want to, like, watch a film, Dunkirk is definitely one to do with that. I loved it. My film was Beauty and the Beast. Um, I went into it being like, oh, it's never going to be as good. Obviously, like, quite a classic cartoon mm. Disney film. And I find that's, like, one of the first films, I think, that I ever went to see it at the cinema so I was like oh like I don't know yeah so I went and I absolutely loved it because obviously like it's a beast so I was like oh like is the How CGI gonna, gonna, gonna be good um but I loved um Dan Stevens as the beast that the guy means. that plays Gaston I thought was like brilliant yeah. brilliant and I also liked um Josh Gad as uh Gaston's mate I've forgotten his name <laughs> Gaston's pal all oh, like I've Oh my god, what is his name? Le Flu. Is that his name? Le Flu? I feel Le like Flu. I'm making that up. Le Flu. Le, Le Flu? Just because it sounds French. Le Flu. Le Flu. It sounds like I'm trying to say the fluff. Le Flu. Le Flu. I'm going to put it out there. I don't like Emma Watson. Oh, see. Don't get me wrong, like, she, she is Belle. Yeah. Like, literally, she is Belle, but I just... I don't know, there's something about it that I don't really like. But also, what I know thing about Beauty and the Bees is why are they all speaking English if they're in France? They've all got true. English accents. They do all have English accents. That's so true. Like, why did they not just move it to but the English But they did English that in the cartoon. Side? The cartoon, they all had, like, an American accent. Yeah, apart from but the cartoon, you can kind the of... The stick. Yeah. You can kind of... Yeah, but... Oh, I forgot Ewan McGregor's in that. I love yeah. Ewan McGregor. So I don't read a lot either. <laughs> But when I'm on holiday, I do, and I went to Italy this year, as you'll know if you watch the vlogs. Wait, did I mention that in the vlogs? I went to Italy, if you didn't know. So obviously I took a book to read, and I read a book called I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. And I'm a massive fan of, like, a murder mystery or a thriller or a psychological book that, like, you really have to sit and read. And a book has to grab me within the first, like few pages the first chapter and I have to be in it otherwise I just get bored but then this book is incredible and there's a massive massive twist in it like halfway through and I was like what I don't understand I got really confused but if you just keep reading it all makes sense you need that with a bit like a yeah. thriller bit though like if anyone's read Gone Girl it's even... very yeah it's very Gone Girl-esque this oh, book okay. like the way it's written it's got I've, like I've... from different points of view and it's the same story but different it parts like jumps, of it, does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like jumps around. Just, yeah, it's written like Gone Girl, so if you liked Gone Girl, you will love it. My book of the year, okay, so this didn't actually come out last year, but I only actually got around to reading it in 2017, is Amy Poehler's Yes Please. So it's like an autobiography, but it's also like... That was a well 80s picture just then. I know, she's... <laughs> I can't, don't know if I can find it now. <laughs> so... so <laughs> it's kind of like a self-help autobiography book so it's like about her life but she gives like loads of like kind of witty like insights of like how to get a handle like on life if you don't know who Amy Poehler is she started off on a 
programme they do in America called Saturday Night Live. She's a comedian. Um, she's also, probably most people know, she is the mum from Mean Girls. She's not a regular mum, she's a cool mum. <laughs> and um, she... <laughs> it's just really, like, insightful to see, like... I'm a big Parks and Rec fan that she's, like, the main character in. So it was, like, amazing to read, like, about how she come up with Parks and Rec and how her and Tina Fey, like, work to be, like, one of the first few like main female people on SNL because they only used to ever really have males on there. I've the never read an autobiography. You've never read an no. autobiography? Oh, autobiographies used to be like my jam. Your jam. Like when I was younger. Yeah. Like I remember reading Darcy Bustle's autobiography. Oh, I'd absolutely love that. Right, yeah, but love yeah, it. this is, it's like really funny as well. Like I read, I read, I went to Tenerife in February and I only went for four nights and I read this and another book. Because this was so, like, it was so funny. Just couldn't put it down. No, I always tend to go for the ones that are just a little bit twisted and a little bit wrong. <laughs> this is quite I do that with I do that with, like, TV shows and stuff as well. Yeah. Like, I love a murder mystery. Yeah, so because we're obviously on YouTube, we thought we should probably pick a favourite YouTuber of 2017. And yours is... Mine is Helen Anderson. Yes. So I pretty much... I think I only found her towards the beginning of last I year. I haven't like, I don't know how I found... Like, whose channel I... I think it might have been Gabby's that I found her through. I think she mentioned her on a, on a vlog. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, let me, like, I want more people to watch. That's and I think right. I watched a, one of her main channel videos. And her main channel, so she has two channels, a main channel and a vlog channel. And her main channel videos are so different. They're so just, like, she's just so down to earth and just, like, the <laughs> She's so relatable, isn't she? Because yeah. she just doesn't care. Yeah, and she also does daily vlogs. But what I like about her daily vlogs is they are, like, just little ten-minute chunks. Yeah. But she... And it is literally, like, if she hasn't gone out for the day, she's like, I've not gone out for the day. Like, I've just... Yeah. But she still manages to film it in, like, a really, like, nice way. Yeah, yeah. She's like, really, really good at editing. I think that's what it is. Yeah, like. and she said, like, because she had a break over Christmas and she's only just started vlog daily vlogging again this week. And yeah. she said it was really weird to go about her life over Christmas not thinking, how can I film this? Yeah. Like, in a way, it's because she said that she's always thinking, how can I film my day to make my day run from A to B for someone to understand yeah. it? That's a really weird thing that we probably don't think about, but vloggers do. They're like, yeah. right, so today this is happening, right, so how can how I, do film I film this? But I think it's because we get up and go to work every day, and yeah. I'm like, I can't film that. But work. then even when I was doing weekly vlogs, I literally was just like, oh, I'll film a bit now. I didn't plan it out. Yeah, but I think that's what... Not what it's makes why it's why hers look so yeah, good. Yeah. Why they're so cohesive and you know yeah, yeah. what's happening. Even when things go to shit. Oh, can I swear on your channel? You can swear on my channel. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can anymore on YouTube though. Well, I swore on my last vlog and nothing's come up. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> if things go to poop, we'll say, <laughs> um, then she films it. And she has shared like things that most people probably won't want their personal life aired out yeah. for people to know. My favourite YouTuber, because I like kind of stopped watching YouTube because I was filming so much last year. I didn't watch a lot because yeah. in my free time I was editing or I'd be like, no, I just want to stay away from YouTube because I spend my life on it. But the person that I would always watch and I would never ever miss her vlogs was Gabby, so from Velvet Ghost, but her Gabriella. So we just finished filming and realised that the camera cut off. So if we're in a different place, then that's why. Um, so what was I saying? Gabriella <laughs> is my favourite YouTuber. Uh, for pretty much the same reason as why you like Helen Anderson. Because she's just so down to earth and normal and so relatable. Like, like you said, um, even if she has a day in, she'll film it anyway. And I just feel like a lot of us are kind of want to feel like that's okay. And we have days where we're like, oh, I just want to do nothing. But you also feel like you shouldn't do nothing. But when you f see that other people are doing that, you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. I can slob about in an old t-shirt and do nothing and all day and it's fine. <laughs> and just sit and watch YouTube. Yeah. So those are our life favourites for 2017. Another big one, actually, for both of us was that we both moved to London this year. It's kind of like a whole life. Yeah, whole life change. A lot changed for me in my life in 2017, but I feel like for the better, I'm in a much better place Hold now. On. I think today, what? yeah, is or yesterday <gasps> was the first day that we actually met. The 14th of January. Because my profile picture changed on my Facebook, 
And it was one of the ones that Pippa took of me. How well done. <laughs> We're just checking. The Wi-Fi here is great. Is it a year anniversary of our friendship? Yeah, that's my profile picture yeah. of you today. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know how we can tell? <laughs> I did a blog post. Ah. From when we went to Portobello Road, and I think I posted it the same day. 15th I posted it, so tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, how is that my profile picture, though? And Oh, no, no, I must have written it and then put it up the next day. Or after midnight, because I know I got back really late that day. Happy year anniversary, <laughs> over today or tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> One of the days. Yay! Happy ah. year anniversary! <laughs> um, let me know in the comments your answers to the questions. So we had favourite album, favourite TV show, favourite film, favourite book and favourite YouTuber. So let me know what your favourites were. And if you've had any other like big life-changing events like we have this year, let me know what yours are as well, because I'm always really interested to know and reply to you and have little chit chats and stuff so do that pop over to laurel's channel to go and watch the video that we are about to film which is our top five beauty products of the year and hopefully i will see you very very soon because we're determined to start filming again this year so yeah i love you bye bye